I'm Sam and this is Amazing Travels. Week 10, Alyssa and I spent in the Bavarian Alps. They're going to be kind of hard to see because, well, we didn't see them either because the fog was so thick that um, we couldn't see more than sometimes 10 feet in front of us on the road. But we know they're there and we have vivid imaginations, so there's that. We also visited two beautiful lakes, which also same problem with the fog, so wait till you see that. It's very, very interesting and eerie and spooky. So it kind of made it for a little bit more of an adventure, right? Because like everyone can go when everything's perfect, right? Not us, not this time. We also got to see very adorable little villages. One of them was Garmisch Partenkirchen. We stayed in a tiny, tiny village called Eschenmühle, which our guest house was like this very old lady who kind of ran a bed and breakfast, but she couldn't run the breakfast at the moment due to she just got her hip replaced. She was adorable, we loved her so much. And her house smelled like cows because she had a farm, but <laughs> The bedroom didn't smell like cows. It was like perfectly fresh in there. I don't even know. I don't even know how she does it. The woman's a magician. Anyway, we had a brilliant time at the Bavarian Alps, or so they say they're there. But you guys will be able to see what we saw right here in the week in review. We found this bomb German restaurant in the middle of a residential area. Ooh, super local. The restaurant is so German, they didn't want us in here, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Not happy with the vibe was on point. They only accepted cash and the food was phenomenal. It looks litty. I already unbuttoned my pants. Crushed it, nothing left, and Alyssa's Kesespätzle was also very yummy. When you're eating shit and you get on the wrong train at 1 a.m. In the background, you could see the Bavarian Alps really well for Munich. Now we were on our search to find them. Our road trip has begun! Germany, Deutschland, on the road. On the road. On the road. Where we are going? The Alps! Stop number one, Schäftlan. And this is the cloister. The weather's prime. <laughs> by the way, if you can't tell by the getup. Since it was raining, we decided to do a cloister tour. We got to see monasteries with their beautiful gardens like these ones and their kind of creepy cemetery and beautiful interiors. We don't know what that means. We're in here alone. This one in Schäftlarn had a lot of great decor on the ceiling, but then we were off to our next cloister. These trees, aren't they so picturesque? This Volkswagen's really effing up my scenic shot. <laughs> Come on, Wagen. Volkswagen. Enjoy the better <laughs> For real. Whoa. Oh, we'll pause. Actually, after this dumpster, we'll get a really, really nice shot of the, of the monastery. When we arrived at Benedict Boren stop number two, there was a very large mass going on, so we decided to walk the halls of the cloister and now enjoy the sounds. Mass did let out before we left, so we did get to check out the interior, very ornate as well. Off to Eschenloe, Bavaria, which is where we actually ended up staying the night. What a quaint little town it has everything you need a bomb bakery which we definitely ate at a little cafe and kuchen time as you can see right boom here oof that was a delicious crumble oh my goodness the family has been baking for 200 years outside of our very adorable accommodation right, we have our little viejita we had to write down our fucking information <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> This is the interior of Gasthaus Vorle, and those beds were mega comfortable. We had this fantastic view, and we were right across the street from the Greek restaurant. Alyssa, we have done nothing better. This has been the perfect day. The day is... Oh yeah, by the way, you guys don't know, we were just in a sauna, by the way. We're so relaxed. We're like, and now, I'm having our wine, and a pound of tzatziki. Just one pound. Easily the best tzatziki I ever had, including the ones I had in Greece, and the food was just epic. We in Garmish. We in Garmish. We don't see nothing yet, but we're in Garmish patent kitchen. Oh, I didn't realize it was that way. <laughs> if it was sunny, we could be looking at this. 
That was a live view of the Alps from above the clouds, but we couldn't really see them because, as you could see here in Garmisch Patenkirchen, it was cloudy. But it doesn't mean this pedestrian zone in the Garmisch side of things wasn't very adorable. <laughs> Love it. She's gonna love it. Look at this thing. She's gonna love it. <laughs> it is so cute. <laughs> so cute. Oh my god, that is the weirdest fucking animal. Saint Martin Church on Marienplatz in Garmisch. And here's a view of the inside of that church. Next up, we have a little creek. Cause who doesn't love a little creek running through town? We got that crystal clear Alp water. You could probably drink that. I would. Then again. You also drink water out of fountains. <laughs> or not water fountains, they're just fountains. More scenic views as we make our way to the Alte Kirche in Garmisch, which is very old. We're in a church, we don't know how old it is. It's just called the Old Church. Probably 700, year 700. Old paintings on the wall. They're all fresco, check them out. I think it's just fresco, not al fresco. I think al fresco is a food. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Thank you. If I'm wrong about something, please correct me as Alyssa did. Otherwise, I'll stay this ignorant. <laughs> the Alps are back there, I promise. If you squint really hard, you could see them. Nah, I'm just kidding, you can't see them. Anyway, we are on our way to the Patenkirchen side of Garmisch Patenkirchen. Fun fact, the reason it's a hyphenated name is because it used to be two towns that they made into one. So they have two downtowns. I personally like the Patenkirchen side more. It's a little more quaint, a little more classic. That's the noon in Bayern vibe check. Church time. Beer, sausage, and marmalade from a vending machine. Dude. And cheese. All the most quintessential German products in a vending machine. They couldn't have done better. Now we are off and upward into the mountains for this beautiful view. It's a beautiful view. It is. But technically we're in the clouds right now. Because all you guys see is fog. The goal of that mini hike was to get here to Saint Anton, which is another cloister. We are so on a pattern here as you can see right here these are all a memorial to soldiers who died in the first and second world wars that slide is everything for me inside this german park it was raining and the slide is clearly wet but i was like i'm brilliant i'll just use my waterproof jacket to make sure my ass doesn't get wet as i slide down because i need to slide down so as you can see me very clearly there laying down my jacket to make this possible for me now what i didn't think about was that that was going to create a very slippery surface and i realized way too late and way too quickly that i was going to fly Whoa. oh my god oh my god. <laughs> oh my god it wouldn't be fair to you if i didn't run this back in slow motion yep i planted flipped completely look at that sweater just fly off oh my god <laughs> Sam, are you okay? That was so fast because it's wet. Do this. Oh no, you're so dirty. All right. How you feeling? Ten out of ten. Worth it. I think the fact that it was wet and I used this smartly, smartly, okay, to not get wet, but it just created like a fucking like. What are those? What did the Jamaican team bobsled? Oh, yeah, that is bobs. This is the beautiful Alps. <laughs> well, there's the sign Ibsay. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. This is the Zugspitze. It takes you to the top. So we found the lake. See if you can see it. The reason we see it is because there are ducks. Visibility not great, but we did make friends with the ducks because they were kind of begging us for food. Then the masses came. It was a little scary. So close to me. That's my foot. I'm a little nervous. Dude, we have nothing. We're sorry, babies. 
You can see here that the water is very clear, a very nice hue of blue, just not today. On this day, because of the weather, what you'd normally see, <laughs> these mountains and the lake. The cold and the fog was a little too much for us, so Alyssa and I did a very German thing, which was go to a Tambad, which is basically a complex of jacuzzis, but everybody has to be naked in them. Kind of fun. This will be our view as we are naked in the swimming pool. <laughs> nice. nice. Very freeing and it warms you to the core, baby. Driving through the fog day two. Day two. It's a little bit more foggy than yesterday. Once again, we're at Valkensee. This is what you're supposed to see. It's there. It's there though. You but can see on the map, it's there. It's there. At least today we see lots of water, baby. Ooh. Normally another crystal clear lake. At least today we had about a hundred yards of visibility and it was Actually, that's more than a hundred yards. Who am I kidding? Eerie boats, eerie lake, eerie vibes. It really did feel like we were on the set of a movie, a horror film perhaps, where you get sucked in or kind of like very Stranger Things vibes. There are our crystal duck friends again, and you can see the water is crystal. I keep I'm at a busy airport, you know. <laughs> to keep following along at my adventures, there's a few weeks left, so stick along by subscribing, commenting, sharing this video, and see you guys next week.